Hey guys, so today we're going to be making some vegan chocolate banana bread. This bread was so delicious, it almost tasted like chocolate cake. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. So I'm just starting out with some all-purpose flour, some cocoa powder, some white sugar, some baking powder, some baking soda, and I am just gonna whisk that together. And so I did end up uh, sifting my dry ingredients because I felt like there were just too many lumps inside of the cocoa powder. I forgot to sift it before I put all of that together. So I just put all of that through the sifter. Next, we're gonna mash three ripe bananas. Make sure your bananas are nice and ripe so that they'll be nice and sweet and easier to mash. And so I'm just mashing these until they're nice and smooth for the most part. Now I'm going in with some melted vegan butter. I like to use the plant butter by Country Crock. It's pretty good. And then I'm adding some applesauce and some oat milk. Uh, you can use soy milk, almond milk, whatever you choose. And then some uh, vanilla extract. So clearly I wasn't trying to whisk that together with that, that whisk. So I had to pull out my hand mixer, um, which was a lot faster. I'm making sure that I leave it, um, leave a little bit of flour so that when I mix in my chocolate chips, it won't sink to the bottom of the batter. And so I'm just using the Enjoy Life brand dairy-free chocolate chips. Um, I had the chocolate chunks in my cabinet already, but feel free to use the regular size chocolate chips or even the mini dairy-free chocolate chips for this recipe. I decided to put some chocolate chips on top just so that it'll be nice and pretty when I take it out of the oven, but that's optional. And so I'm gonna bake this in the oven on 350 degrees for 55 to 60 minutes. And you're gonna check the center with a toothpick and if it comes out clean, then you know it's done. And so once I take it out of the oven, I am gonna place the pan on top of a wire rack and let it rest for about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna flip it out of the pan and let the bread continue to rest on the wire rack until it's cool. And when it's cool, you can cut it up, serve it with your favorite fruit. Shoot, you can even eat it with some ice cream because honestly, it tastes like cake. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, it was really delicious and I love making like vegan desserts. And so I hope you guys try this recipe. Please make sure you like, share and subscribe. And this is the finished product. Thank you.